means papaya blood sugar friendly. With PCOS and insulin resistance, I'm always trying to understand how different meals affect my blood glucose. Today, I'm having 200 grams of ripe papaya in the evening, which has around 85 calories in total. I'm tracking my blood sugar with a continuous glucose monitor, so let's check my readings after a few hours. So here's what my CGM recorded. My blood sugar rose by 59 mg per dl and returned to baseline in 1.5 hours. So is this a good or bad spike? With insulin resistance, my goal is to keep my post-meal spike under 40 to 50 mg per dl and return to baseline within 2.5 to 3 hours. In this case, the spike was sharp and higher than ideal and although it didn't last long, it's still not the best. So why did this happen? Papayas are naturally high in sugar and don't have much fiber, protein or fat to slow down glucose absorption, so they tend to cause a sharper spike when eaten alone. So then are papayas unhealthy? Not at all. They're rich in vitamin C, antioxidants and enzymes that aid digestion. They're also low in calories, even in large portions, so they work well for weight loss goals. However, for those with insulin resistance or diabetes, pairing papaya with protein or healthy fats like yogurt, nuts or seeds might help blunt the glucose spike. In my next video, I'll try that with a papaya salad to see if it helps. Overall, while papaya was a healthy food choice, it still caused a higher blood sugar response than I'd like. Let me know what you think in the comments below.